by Stock Invest Media in Stockholm, and with me I have Redwood Pharma CEO Martin Vadius. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And first of all, what is the aim of Redwood Pharma? Well, uh, our interest is in developing uh, next generation therapies for the treatment of dry eye disease based on or using our IntelliGel platform. The IntelliGel platform is a uh, unique formulation, a, po- a combination of uh, polymers and water that uh, provides a, a viscous uh, 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 film on the front of the eye and then helps delay the release of active su- substances and also is, uh, can be used as a dry eye therapeutic. And much focus for you is on RP501. How does this product differ from available treatments on the market? Well, it builds upon the advantages of the two prior categories. Um, artificial tears or the, the treatment for mild to moderate uh, dry eye is based, the, the primary uh, product used today is uh, our artificial tears and uh, gels have come about as, a, as an innovation on top of them. Artificial tears are easily applied to the front of the eye, so it has convenience, but the effect is, is not that good because they get washed away. Gels are easily, uh, can stay in the eye longer, but are more difficult to apply and they have a better effect. What we do is with the RP501 is with IntelliGel, it builds upon the advantages of both. It's got ease of convenience as artificial tears, but it has stays on the eye longer as gels do. So we believe that we'll be creating a new, uh, cat- carving out a new category of products within these two uh, existing therapies out of the market. And what is your strategy for taking this product on the market? Well, uh, at the, to start out with, we'll be looking at a European-centric uh, uh, launch strategy um, and then also at the US as well. But initially, I think we'll be looking at uh, uh, penetrating or going into specific uh, countries in Europe and seeing um, uh, how good the, uh, you know, the, 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 the model the, the is for, the business model is for 501. And then we'll be looking at uh, finding other partners in, in countries that have, um, where these partners have have advantages in terms of marketing, sales, and distribution, and really just picking, uh, fi- picking and finding those partners that can help us maximize the sales and cash flow of the, of the, of the product. And what is the status on your second project, the RP101? RP101 has completed a phase two trial and successfully uh, shown effect and uh, safety in postmenopausal women. So RP101 is a, uh, a treatment for moderate to severe dry eye in postmenopausal women. And we feel that it will be uh, differentiated well in in the marketplace. Um, We are now looking at uh, uh, preparing for the next clinical phase. We received um, an approval of of the phase three design from the US FDA in January of this year. So we're really excited about that. Now it's just trying to find the financing for the next clinical phase. And what is your focus for the next two years? Well, uh, we are looking at uh, moving into profitability. Uh, how about that? Um, and it's basically uh, taking 501 to the to market, obtaining CE mark in Europe, um, and then uh, generating sales and positive cash flow. And with RP101 to look and find a partner that can help us take it into the next clinical phase. Interesting. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you.